Christy Thomas coming live from signing day. This is the Kentucky Football Vlog. And you're watching episode 12. Big Blue Nation, I'm here, recruiting room, Kroger Field, coming live, signing day 2018. You're still not live. Still kind of live. I hear a lot of pressure in the zone. Social media hub, all of our content's going out. This guy right here, a lot of pressure, no misspelling. A lot of spell check. To a DB coach, Steve Klingscale, coach responsible for three signings from the primary for your own. Yeah, well, Quentin, you know, with him being a Cincinnati guy, I was a little bit of a local, you know, talent bit. But, you know, just having uh, the football program on the rise was a big selling point for Quentin. Right. And the two gentlemen up in uh, Michigan, you know, it's been a, a long, steady relationship up there. Um, for the last nine years, I've been recruiting that state, and I've seen those players as freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. And I think the selling point was really just uh, being able to come and play in the SEC, you know, come down south and be an impact player and, and not be a traditional uh, Big Ten player, you know, and they really, really enjoy the family environment. Here with Coach Dean Hood, special teams coordinator. Coach, you signed two big time impact guys, punter Max Duffy, kicker Chance Poor. What do they bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a group effort. You know, we, we sign them. There's a lot of guys involved in, uh, you know, securing somebody to, to come to your program. So it's huge. I mean, uh, not only special teams, but I think uh, just how important it is to offense and defense. I mean, when you, you have a punter and you can uh, pin people and give great field right. position for your for your defense, uh, when you got a guy that can kick off and he can <clears throat> get somebody in the, in the you know start of the drive inside the 25, that's sure. that's huge. And then you know offensively, kicking the ball, you know, scoring points as an offensive coordinator, just knowing you know get inside that 25 and we're going to get points. It's got big shoes to fill. Huge, you know. So, you know, it's it's important not only special teams but offense and defense. You know, that's the glue, the, the middle in between offense and defense. And that's what we've had in Austin McGinnis, you know, here this year. It's been a, been a blessing to coach him. And, you know, that's why we, uh, you know, signed Chance Poor. Barely an hour into early signing day, December 25th, 17. Class is already starting to fill up. 18 names in. Coach John Schlarman here, signing day, 2017, 2018 class. Coach, you've had a history of signing, developing, successful offensive linemen during your time here in the UK. What's the one trait you look for in guys that are three signings this year? It's hard to narrow it down to one, but you know, toughness, intelligence, obviously they have to have certain sw uh, size requirements, right, right. you know, um, but that, that intelligence factor is huge because the game changes, you know, in terms of once the ball's snapped, a lot of things happen out there. Oh, yeah. So you got to be smart and you got to be able to pick up things as they change. And, you know, I think all three of these guys are very intelligent football players, and I think that's going to bode well for them at the next level. How are 15 minutes now? 19 names on the board, still hoping for a couple big targets to come through. <laughs> the big dog, once again responsible for the vast majority of the class. Coach, five straight years now, we've brought impact players here. How do you do it time after time? What's your closing point? How do you continually bring impact players to your side? You know, God, uh, the fans, you know, it's like with anything else when you're a performer, it's the fans that keep people going. And I see the uh, energy in our fans and it makes me want to go out and recruit hard for them but it's, it's a great university to recruit to and just consistency you know I think everybody thought it was going to be a one-hit wonder in 2013 and here we are now then we've been in the top 20 top 30 I know for sure for the last five years and we just keep getting better like coach do say we just get started about quarterback Terry Wilson we came in late a lot of big suitors after that kid how did you get your grip on him? Lock him in with I knew once he came over to the, the Big Blue Nation and came and seen our facilities and, and got to be around, uh, you know, our coaching staff. And, and it, it's, it's just to me, once you get guys here, it, they, they feel the love. And, yes, and I'm telling you, I don't think people understand how huge getting him was. Uh, he, he's a very skilled football player. He's exactly what you need to win in the SEC. I just thank God that his mom and his family believed in us. I mean, you guys don't give yourself enough credit. You know, this guy interviewing me, I should be interviewing him. It's behind the scenes that really get these things going. I think I get a lot of credit, but you guys do a lot. And I want to thank you, man. I'm being honest. Like, you you really good at what you do. You say I'm good at what I do. You really good at what you do. And, uh, but there's no way we can lose you. So I, I want the Big Blue Nation to understand that this guy, this guy, 
is the man behind the scenes sending our guys. And we got a great officer coordinator right there, Eddie Grass. We got a lot of we got a lot of love. Here. Lot of coach. That's well, why we get a lot of players here, bro. Obviously, a lot of publicity for signing me goes into our full-time coaches who bust their butts year-round to sign this new wave of talent. The guys behind the scenes don't get enough credit. <laughs> Officer coordinator Eddie Grant. Coach, last year you were the South Florida recruiter of the year. Once again this year you brought multiple guys all the way up in Florida. What's your secret down there? Relationships, being down there for almost 30 years, uh, just building a great rapport down there with those great South Florida high school coaches and uh, just building trust. December 20th now, only nine days till our current group of Wildcats take the field once again. Down in Lexington South, Nashville, Tennessee, Music City Bowl. Still plenty of tickets available. Big Blue Nation, can't wait to see you there. Putting the finishing touches on our early signing day. To this point, we have 20 new Wildcats who are gonna be bluegrass bound. A lot of impact players from all around the country. Obviously, big Florida presence, big Georgia presence. Some guys from Michigan, obviously our hotbed of Ohio. Coming strong again. Shout out to our coaching staff, tirelessly recruiting 365 days a year. Can't wait to see how much impact these guys can make on the field.